Damn. Uh. Let's start it off with a senator, Mr. Manny Pacquiao. You've done this a time or two in your career. Started boxing at 12 years old, now you're 40, here in this arena for the 15th time. Does this ever get old? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, in terms, I'm just going to move your mic so people can hear you here. In terms of, uh, you've, you've done a lot this before, but you've never done it in front of a Fox audience. What does it mean for you to be here fighting in front of this new Fox audience? It's, uh, it's a great honor to uh, fight in Fox. Uh, uh, this is my first time, I think, uh, to fight in Fox, uh, covered by Fox, and to all the, the, the fans, uh, thank you so much for all your support. Keith, you're an undefeated champion. You fought on big stages in big fights, but never won quite this big. What has this experience been like for you thus far? Uh, it's been tremendous thus far, and the experience isn't over, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm looking forward to the final moment when my hand is raised. And, you know, it's just been a buildup. It's been a progression my whole uh, career, being an undefeated champion. You know, I remember when I struggled um, as an interim champion, and then I first had the regular title, WBA, that Manny holds now, and now I'm a super champion, uh, fighting a legend back here at the MGM Grand, beautiful arena, Las Vegas. I mean, it's just a beautiful time, a beautiful moment in boxing, and I'm happy to be here. A beautiful time, but it, things have kind of gotten a little personal throughout this fight camp. I think, uh, Manny, some things were said by Keith that you've not been happy with. He said he plans to retire you, that he's not going to let a little bunny rabbit beat him. He said he's going to crucify you. Has this gotten personal? For me, nothing is personal. It's a, uh, I have to, uh, to do my job, and I have personal, you know, um, nothing personal with him. But uh, in our job as a, as a fighter, um, it's kind of uh, you have to prove something, and then I have to prove something also. And that's why I'm so motivated for this fight, uh, for this training camp. We did a lot, so I'm excited for Saturday. What do you want to prove specifically? Well, everything. Um, the question mark, big question mark to the fans, the, the mind of the fans, so, especially at the age of 40. Keith, when you've said those things, were they genuine or was it simply head games, trying to get under his skin? I mean, it's simple, man. I'm a fighter. You know, Manny Pacquiao is tremendous. He's a legend. He's accomplished so many great things in the sport. Most boxers, if they've accomplished half the things Manny Pacquiao accomplished, they still have a successful careers. But, you know, I'm not here to hug Manny Pacquiao. I'm not here to pat him on the back. You know, I'm here to fight him. And so for me, it just puts me in the fight mode when I let him know he, you know, he ain't going to do nothing. With them little T-Rex arms, he's about to get, you know, beat up. I get to punch a senator in the face. You know, he's going to feel it. And if he's upset about it, you know, he can do something about a Saturday night. It's called swing, 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 baby. Manny, I don't think I've ever seen you make facial expressions quite like that during the response of an opponent. What's, what do you say to that? I'm just uh, always smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> not on fight night. <laughs> no, not on fight night. Do you have a, re a reply to that? What do you, I mean, I don't think anybody's ever told you you had T-Rex arms. Well, um, I mean... It's easy to say, but uh, I don't know if uh, it's easy to, to do it in the ring. Uh, you know me, I've been I've been this <laughs> sport more than two, uh, two decades, so my experience will, will prove it. Fair enough. Well, this card is action-packed top to bottom. Let's move on to our co-feature. Omar Figueroa Jr. will take on your Dennis Ugas. Two guys with powerful punches. Omar, let's start with you because uh, you're fighting this fight at welterweight, 147 pounds. Have you given up at 140? Given up making weight, that is. Uh, no, but I feel great at 147. The weight cut has been as, I mean, easy uh, as it was for Guerrero. Uh, so I was able to focus on maintaining my body healthy instead of trying to cut the weight and all that. So. Honestly, at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters. If I'm not healthy, I'm not able to fight, and um, I get paid to fight, so I'm here to make money. Most definitely. You're Dennis. I know you weren't happy uh, 
with how things went in your fight against Sean Porter. Will you be looking to end things early and not let this one go to the judges, given what happened in that fight? Bueno, sí, el sábado pienso salir lo más decisivo posible. Eh, las cosas, los jueces, no me, no me gusta hablar de los jueces, ya eso pasó. Estamos enfocados en el sábado y el sábado sabemos que tenemos que tomar la, la justicia por nuestras manos. Now I'm going to come out decisive in this fight. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about the judges. They do their job, and that's already in the past. But I'm going to come out uh, ready for this fight and show the judges or whoever that I'm going to win this fight. Next up, it's Sergey Lipinets, who will take on John Molina Jr. I'm going to start over here with you, John, because yesterday I saw you face off with Sergey at the media arrivals, and then I saw you kind of have a jovial face off with Joe Goosen, his trainer, someone you're very familiar with who's trained you on and off over the years. Is it a disadvantage having your opponent uh, to have a trainer that you know so well and that knows you so well? Uh, no, I, I think not. Um, I've been doing this a long time and what you saw between me and Joe is nothing but respect and he knows that. It's just a respect issue, man to man. Um, what we're going to do Saturday night is business and uh, it's nothing personal. And in this fight game, we're all professionals. Nothing personal, it's just business. But um, again, like I said, it was a, a sign of respect. Sergey, your team has said that you plan uh, to prepare for another retirement party, alluding to the fact that Lamont Peterson retired after your last fight. Uh, how do you intend to do that? And, and do you believe that will actually happen with a powerful guy like John Molina Jr. sitting here? Ну, мы готовились очень хорошо, тщательно, тяжелые, тяжелые тренировки проходили, поэтому мы сделаем все для победы, и я сделал все для победы. Постараюсь э, завершить этот э, вечер бокса красивым, красиво, как смогу. Well, we are getting ready to fight. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what John is going to do. We we're going to do what we're supposed to do, and uh, it was a big build-up to, to, for that fight. And uh, we really, really work on everything possible angle that might happen in that ring. And uh, hopefully, that 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 evening is going to end up in a way where everybody is going to be cheering for both of us. Well, no doubt, it's going to be a, a very a very compelling fight and also it's going to be tough to choose fight of the night because all of these are action packed. Speaking of action packed, let's go to our our fight that's going to open the card. Luis Neri, your second fight in the United States, your second Fox pay-per-view. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Do you feel pressure because you're coming into this on a 10 knockout streak? Those streaks are great, but oftentimes they come with the pressure to keep them going. Given the way uh, your opponent was knocked out two fights ago by a top 10, uh, pound for pound top 10 guy, do you feel the pressure to get the knockout in this one as a measuring stick? Bueno, no, este, todos los peleadores son diferentes. Que la haya noqueado eh, y no fue en un round no quiere decir que también lo tenga que noquear en un round. Puede ser en el segundo, tercero, cuarto, no lo sé. Pero siempre el invicto es un es un peso que uno tiene encima por por el récord y más en una cartelera tan grande como es Pacquiao Truman es un gran más que nada me siento feliz de que de estar en esta cartelera con ellos dos. First of all, it's a pleasure to be on this big uh, fight night here on Fox Pay Per View. Uh, I'm very happy that my second fight here is also on Fox Pay Per View. And in regards to uh, Payano, uh, all fighters are different. I mean, um, you know, he knocked him down in the first round. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to knock him down in the first round. It might be the second or the fourth. But um, I don't feel the pressure. No, it's always a pressure, yes, to maintain the record, the O, the zero, no losses. But uh, uh, I'm just going to go out there and fight. Excellent. Juan Carlos, you're early in your career, you're, you were known as Baby Pacquiao. Now you're sitting on a stage with Manny Pacquiao. What is this experience like for you, and how do you plan to make it your night? Primeramente, agradecerle a Dios, a Fox Sport, a Herman, por esta oportunidad de estar aquí presente en una, una cartelera de mi gran ídolo Pacquiao. Eh, hasta ahora me siento muy eh, airoso, con ganas de, de demostrar que puedo seguir y puedo conseguir una victoria más también ante este gran peleador como lo es Luis Neri. Se conozco 
su trayectoria, buena experiencia, tremendo boxeador. Y nada, yo espero que el sábado por la noche dar un buen, un buen teatro, un buen, una buena pelea eh, entre dos guerreros encima del ring. I'm very happy to be on this fight card, especially Manny Pacquiao. Of course, he's my idol. I want to th thank Fox uh, Sports for having me. Also, Al Heyman. Um, also, my whole team that's behind me. Um, and we know Luis Neres is a great fighter. So I'm here to give you guys a great show on Saturday. And um, that's what we expect. All right. Well, the, the betting odds are in the favor of Manny Pacquiao right now at this moment. They shifted. Earlier on, you were the favorite. Keith, I have to know, did you, you said you were going to bet on yourself. Did you, and what did you bet? Oh, you know, we're going uh, for the overall victory, and then we're going for first round knockout, second round knockout, and then uh, lucky number seven round knockout, <laughs> you know? Uh, at the end of the day, um, it's a sport, you know, I'm a, I'm a winner in life, uh, but to bet on myself for the opening rounds, it makes me do what I said earlier, which is swing, 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 you know? I mean, you gotta, you gotta swing uh, to hit a home run, you know? You can't just sit there and pump fake all day. So I just wanna open up, I like to encourage myself. And you know, in boxing, man, we really don't have a, a knockout bonus, man. You know, I, if one time Thurman gets a first round knockout, somebody's gotta pay me. So at least the MGM Grand can pay me, you know? Uh, you know, it, it's fun, it's playful, but it really, uh, it's, it's a little bit a part of my strategy. It's, I don't recommend it for every fighter. Every fighter's their own, but I like it. Fair enough. Have you ever bet on yourself? No, I didn't. Uh, I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to do closing comments. We're running out of time here. Keith, we're going to send you up to the stage. Why should everyone watch? And final thoughts. What's up, everybody? It's an honor to be here at the MGM Grand. I'm truly looking forward to this fight. We've had a terrific, terrific training camp. Uh, it's been a beautiful experience working with Fox uh, in preparation, all the buildup, everything that we've been getting and all the support we've been getting from you guys, the media. Uh, this is just a, a tremendous fight. I think it's one of the best matchups of the year. I think it's the most exciting fight of the summer. And, you know, at the end of the day, look at the rest of the lineup, man. I mean, this is a fight worth watching. These, these fights here, you know, are, are worth the money to buy, to support. Uh, Saturday night is just going to be one hell of a night. And, you know, I've been saying it over and over again, but don't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao goes night, night. Thank you so much. <laughs> Manny, we'll give you an opportunity now to, to reply to that and do closing thoughts here at the podium, please. We'll, we'll put you here. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to thank God for uh, this opportunity again, uh, giving us a good health to be here. Um, this is not an uh, um, accident. There's a, a, a plan. Um, I mean, especially this uh, coming Saturday, it's going to be... Uh, um, exciting fight, once in a lifetime fight, gonna be more action. Uh, like you said, my opponent said that um, it's gonna be more action in the ring. That's why I I became a, my opponent because uh, we believe that we can give a good fight to the fans. That's uh, that's our first concern. Uh, the fans, the the enjoyment of the fans on Saturday. So uh, I would like to uh, I, I would like to thank um, everyone who support this uh, uh, this. Uh, once in a lifetime match, uh, especially the Paxford uh, MGM. Uh, this is my, this is not my first time or third time to, uh, to fight in the, uh, the MG, MGM. But thank you so much, MGM, for uh, giving us this opportunity. Uh, not only me, but all other fighters also. And uh, of course, uh, I want to thank uh, the media press for uh, the job well done. Uh, because of you guys, we. Uh, we've been known this uh, this fight um, and good promotion for for all of us uh, for boxing, uh, not only for for this fight but uh, in boxing industry uh, all over the world and also the fans of boxing. Thank you so much for for being uh, there, uh, always supporting us. And uh, of course, um, 
what, what, what I can say in, uh, in my training camp, uh, we did a lot. Uh, we did our best in training. Uh, I'm, I think, uh, I believe uh, we are really 100% condition, physically, mentally, and most of all, spiritually. And I'm sure uh, my, my opponent uh, worked hard, uh, trained hard for, uh, for Saturday. So um, I expect that, expecting a good fight. Um, like I said, to the toe on Saturday would be good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been it's been a while that um, I and it never experienced like that. So I think this this is, this is gonna be it's gonna be exciting. Uh, the, the way he he talked to uh, to you guys today. Um, I hope that he will do it and on Saturday. Uh, and also uh, before I end, uh, you know, um, I want to thank uh, the Filipino fans for being uh, being there, always supporting us. Um, dagang salamat, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, mga kababayan ko. Thank you to all of you, and of course, um, to all the sponsors for this uh, big event. And before I end, I would like to uh, leave this uh, passage of the Bible in Jeremiah 9 again, 9 uh, verse 23, uh, 24. It says, This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise boast about their wisdom, or the strong boast about their strength or the rich boast about the riches. But let the one who boast boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you all for being here. Thank you to the fighters for being here on a busy fight week. Kate, guys, we'll send it back up to you at the desk.